Am I the asshole for losing it when my husband used my brother's surgery money to buy his dad a car? I, F, 25 have been married to my husband, M, 27 for two years. My mom passed away recently. And I let my brother, 16, move in with us. I'm taking care of everything for him. His education, his health, everything. He has a chronic respiratory disease and he already has a savings account because my mom was saving up for his surgery in 2021. I moved the money into our account for several reasons including issues from the bank itself. And since I work I started contributing as well. My husband knows well that the money isn't for us just because it is in our account. I repeatedly told him that he cannot make any purchases nor move the money without talking to me to make sure we don't touch the money that belongs to my brother. I just found out two days ago that my husband bought his dad a car that cost nearly 13k. I was confused I only heard this from his parents. We only had about 6k in our account aside from my brother's money. I got home and I asked him where he got the money. First he said he'd talk about it in the morning because he was too tired to argue with me. My patience was running out I asked him again and he told me he used some of my brother's money to pay for the car. I was stunned he started making excuses about how his dad needed it and how much he was struggling and no one was willing to help. He said he didn't want to buy a cheap car so he won't have to suffer and take it to the shop every other day. I lost it I yelled at him and told him that this money was for my brother that my mom saved for his condition. He said that he knew and didn't have a choice. Said that he didn't want to tell me because of my reaction and that he borrowed some of the money and will find a way to pay it back soon. We got into a huge argument that lasted for two hours. I called his mom and told her about the car my father-in-law got. That he used my brother's money without even telling me. He lashed out at me after his mom found out and he got into an argument with his parents. He said that I shouldn't get them involved and I should have taken his word instead of freaking out and yelling at him. I couldn't take it I took my brother and went to stay with my aunt. He never stopped calling and apologizing calling himself stupid and just wanting to help his dad. I haven't replied to his texts and my aunt said that I shouldn't yelled at him and instead sat down for a conversation. He keeps saying he'll pay the money back but I know he can't. Absolutely not the asshole. Your husband stole money from a sick minor. He is in the wrong and he needs to fix his FCK up. NTA your husband stole from you. TBH you should have kept it in a separate account but that's not the issue here. He told you, I'll find some way to pay you back. That's code for, I don't respect you and I'm never going to pay you back. Hi op. And hash x200b. Firstly I'm sorry that you've lost your mother, what an awful thing to go through so young. And hash x200b. You sound wonderfully kind to take care of your brother like that. And hash x200b. First he said he'd talk about it in the morning because he was too tired to argue with me. Dear lord, I'm already in the mood to deck this guy. And hash x200b. Your husband most certainly did have a choice, he knew that that was not his money. And hash x200b. Please seek legal advice to get away from him, and I know people always are quick to spout divorce but he sounds like he just does not respect you at all. And hash x200b. Please get written evidence from the bank of the transaction, written evidence from his parents to show that he did not have permission to use that money for a car. Not the asshole. Your aunt is wrong. You had the conversation with him. You had it before he even took the money. He's the one who didn't sit down and have a conversation with you, not before he took the money nor after. He tried to avoid having conversations. You should take this to a lawyer, immediately. Prove the money was your mother's, saved for your brother. Not the asshole. This is divorce level stuff. Also, for future reference, do not commingle funds like this ever again. Your brother's money should have been in a separate account. You screwed up when you moved your brother's money into your joint account. It muddied the appearance of the true ownership, but that shouldn't have had a meaningful impact on anything. Your husband is beyond the asshole. He stole from a child. Let that sink in. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. He basically stole your sick brother's money. That is horrible. Is this normal behavior for him? Not the asshole. You told him it wasn't his and he couldn't use it multiple times. At that point, it's stealing from your brother. I would be saying you either take the car back and get the money or you find somewhere else to live and I want a divorce. 
I don't care if it's my husband if my sister was sick like that that would be pretty much it you either fix it or get out. Not the asshole. married people don't buy cars without consulting one another, unless you're, like, Christmas car commercial rich. The fact he did that and used your brother's money all while knowing clearly he should not, and attempted to hide it from you, would make it very hard to trust him at all now. Not the asshole. and if I'm you I'm thinking one thing about your relationship with your husband, Divorce 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 not the asshole. I'd get a lawyer stat. Even if you end up staying with him, I'd definitely separate your finances. Info. What did your in-laws say? Did they offer to return the money immediately? Did your husband have a realistic plan to pay back the money within, say, three months? Not the asshole. Your husband stole your brother's money. He knew it wasn't for him, husband, but apparently decided that his father having a car was more important than your brother's surgery. You need to move the rest of your brother's money out of a joint account immediately. This is kind of horrifying. I wouldn't even know where to begin in your situation. The money wasn't his to use and he owes it back to you. He should sell the car he bought and replenish the money. I can't understand what mindset you have to be in to completely go behind a spouse's back and spend money that you didn't earn without even mentioning it first. Not the asshole. I'd tell his parents you want your money back within the week or you'll have to report their son to the police and report they have a car bought from stolen money and are aware the money was stolen. In fact I'd go take the car and bloody well sell it. If his parents argue then they are as twisted as your husband. If I was them I'd be horrified and taking it back to the dealer to explain they need to sell it back to them I'd also divorce your husband. He stole from a sick kid just to look like the big I am in front of his parents. That's so twisted. You'll never be able to trust him again. Not the asshole get a separate account that only you and your brother can access. I'm talking heavy restrictions. Either sell the car, or find a way to get the money from your husband's belongings. If he has no problem stealing from a sick minor, you don't have to have a problem stealing from an entitled asshole. And honestly, I hate being one of those ones who says leave him, but honestly, is it worth it? Can you trust him anymore? And I'm sorry for your loss op. I truly am. Not the asshole if his parents know the truth now they should sell the car and give you your brother's money back. Not the asshole, on top of what everyone else has said about theft, him saying you shouldn't have gotten his parents involved is one more turd to add to the pile of horse manure. They are already involved, as recipients of stolen property. Not the asshole. Major red flags. I doubt your Phil would have agreed to the generosity if he knew the cost. Not the asshole. This might be a call a lawyer moment. Not the asshole. Your husband blatantly disregarded to your boundaries and stole money that wasn't his. Yes, stole. It takes 20 million to set up a new account. Do so immediately. Honestly, you know how likely he is to do this so yeah, you're the a-hole if you thought this might happen and left cash in the account. However, ultimately he's a thief so mayor. I'm not one to call divorce, but I couldn't come back from this one. Make sure to get an attorney and see if you can recoup some funds. Esh. Husband. He took money knowing it was for your brother. To buy his dad something his dad is fully capable of getting for himself, being an adult and all. He thinks he can just get away with doing whatever he wants with money he was told repeatedly was not his or yours. You. You took this money, put it in a joint account, instead of a personal account, or one specifically for your brother, and had to, repeatedly, tell him not to touch it. You set your brother's medical funds up for failure. You knew better and still acted irresponsibly. Shame on you. Your brother's respiratory disease. Fuck that disease. Such an asshole. Your husband is a thief and liar and he stole from a sick kid. He deserves every bit of grief he's gotten and then some. Frankly, I'd be calling a divorce attorney. Not the asshole I'd try to get the money back if at all possible. Let him drown in the shame of it. You are 100% not the asshole here. 1. He stole money from your deceased mom. That's messed up. 2. 
He made a major financial decision without your consent. That's a violation of one of the cardinal rules of relationships, marriage. Ask your husband how he would like it if you spent all your savings to buy your brother a new car without asking your husband first. Not the asshole. Separate your finances and honestly you suck for not keeping your brother's money separate from your own. It should have been in its own account. Why isn't anyone demanding that he sell the car to give the money back? Sell that shit immediately and then divorce his ass. This is way above AITA's pay grade, and you should definitely consider a lawyer here. Assuming the best case scenario, that seven grand he stole from your account. Seven grand that he deemed acceptable to then justify taking because he needed it to help his dad, and you need to stop worrying about it. The audacity and dismissal is disgusting. Not the asshole for the subject matter topic but you absolutely need to get this resolved in a more concrete manner. Not the asshole, his behavior is disgusting. You have every right to be upset and angry. This was straight up theft. Not the asshole but you're a bloody idiot if you leave any remaining money in an account you both have access to. He obviously isn't responsible. Not the asshole. That money isn't saved to be backup money, it's saved for a surgery coming up. He says he's gonna find a way to pay it back but what if he couldn't do it in time for the surgery? Not the asshole. I was shocked to read this and I can certainly see why you would be shocked to experience this. This is a huge betrayal and your reaction was very natural. Holy shit. Like, is this for real? He actually thought that a car was more important than the life of your sibling. What? I'm actually speechless. Not the asshole. To be honest, I personally would have filed for divorce for this. No if, and or buts. Not the asshole. Your man straight up stole your brother's money. His parents need to take the car back. Not the asshole. Leave him. Did your Phil and Mill do the right thing and take the car back? If I had found out my kid bought me a car with stolen money I would offer to take it back, then my kid would be under that old I brought you into this world I can take you out deal. At the very least the in-laws and husband need to sell that car and any shortfall well hubby better get a second job and pay it back. Get it in writing what he did and make him sign papers that he needs to pay back with interest. Not the asshole this is where you divorce him though. Not a conversation. Not counseling. He stole from a child. That's not a mistake. That's not an accident. That's a choice. There are absolutely far cheaper reliable cars than a 13k1. Are you seriously asking this question? How in anyone's mind could you possibly be the asshole when your husband stole your brother's surgery money? What in the E-V-E-R-L-O-V-I-N-G-F? Not the asshole. Your husband robbed a child. He is entirely in the wrong. Not the asshole separate your money now. Don't ever mix money with him again. He is completely untrustworthy in this regard. Not the asshole no he had no right to use money that wasnt even his for a damn car. If you can I would suggest suing him to get that money back and then leave him. Do you really need to ask if you are the asshole in this situation? It's glaringly obvious that you are not the asshole. You are the asshole. You took your brother's money and gave your husband access to it. You don't get to just leave the house because you are angry. Get your shit together. Get your husband. And go return the damn car to get your brother's money back. Not sure why you are talking to people about who is an asshole instead of fixing the problem. Wow. Not the asshole. I'd be picking my divorce attorney at this point. You spelled ex-husband wrong. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. He didn't even tell you about it. When you found out and asked him he said we'll talk about it in the morning he's too tired to argue. This is serious and divorce worthy. He has stolen your deceased mother's savings account for your brother's necessary surgery for a luxury purchase for his father. What kind of person does this? He has no respect for you, your mother or your brother. This is not a partner in any sense. You should seriously leave him and get the money back ASAP. Do not make the mistake of having kids or anything with someone like this. Not the asshole if the father knows how his son got the money for the car and refuses to sell it to return the money intended for a sick minor. Then you need to divorce your husband and the entire family. Not the asshole your aunt is wrong. He would have never sat down for a civil conversation. He would have used every trick in the book to lie and distract you from the money being stolen. 
and also, his parents were already involved the very second the car was purchased with the money he stole from you. You probably aren't gonna get anywhere unless his next text is gonna be that he will immediately replace all the money he stole this very day. You might have to have conversations with his parents to see what can be done about the car, getting the money back, locking him out from touching said money and possibly finding a way to help his dad getting around since it was about him having a means of transportation. Not the asshole this is seriously a betrayal worthy of divorce. Hopefully your in-laws are upstanding enough people to sell the car in order to return the money. If not, be sure to keep the texts and documentation of all the transactions and consult a lawyer. Not the asshole. But I wonder why you put money meant for your brother in a joint account with your husband. Why didn't you open a separate account and deposit that money into the new separate account? That's what I would have done. As much as I trust my husband, if there is money coming from my parent for a sibling in my care, the money would have been deposited into a separate account that only I have access to, just to avoid any temptation of any kind by my partner. The advice my husband and I received on a marriage course we took, that involved a lawyer, an accountant and a financial planner. We each have our own accounts, then at least one joint account for regular household expenses, including rent, mortgage, insurance, etc. We've done this and it's worked brilliantly for us for 40 years.